well as in all aspects of life. The effect of the pandemic on sport has been profound. The roar of the crowd was sorely missed and post-match celebrations were a thing of the past. Our GAA correspondent Marty Morrissey has been looking at COVID-19's impact on the GAA. This is Clane County Kildare. With membership numbers increasing and a growing young population, the local GA club embarked on an ambitious development plan that involved pitches, floodlights, dressing rooms and much more at a cost of €1 million. Euro. Last year, everything stopped. The impact of COVID was devastating. It, it just stopped everything in its tracks. But we're getting back on track now. Um, we're getting money raised. We've our development plans. Hopefully back on track in the next couple of months. St Colman's College Newry has a rich tradition in Gaelic football. Last year's McRory Cup final, the symbol of Ulster College's success between themselves and St. Patrick's Mahara, was never played. They were devastated. I mean, the guys had, had put in so much to the campaign and, the, and their life here in the, in the college. To get to the final and not to play in it was just heartbreaking for the boys. The final was to be played here at the Athletic Grounds in Armagh. But with no final, it was decided that the cup and title would be shared. We were third year and we went to watch St. Pat's play the final here. And all the sympaths were sitting in the crowd and we uh, very special times because we remember it and we always wanted to be there when we were upper sixth. And we finally got the chance, but then it got called off. And there's danger here, a chance for Shane McGuigan, and there's the goal. Obviously with the history that the school has, it's a disappointment, but as you say, I could have, could have lost it, but sure, could have wanted to. <laughs> Because of COVID-19, some clubs couldn't continue on their club development. Matches at colleges and schools level couldn't be played. And all that is a negative because of COVID-19. The positive that's going to be announced next week is that the GA, the Camogie and the Ladies Gaelic Football are coming together with a new player pathway making the player the epic centre. At the centre of this new pathway is the player and the player's vision of how they wish to develop along their journey, whether from male or female, large or small club, urban or rural. Marty Morrissey, RT News, Plain County Kildare.